To me, the effects of climate change, the biggest ones are the rising sea levels and how that's going to affect the coastal communities around the world and specifically in Oregon. Another thing is that the ice caps are melting and that will um, definitely affect the polar bears as they already are and many other species that live there as well as species that, that aren't endangered now that could very well become endangered. Climate change is affecting um, everything from just how we live to how our environment is changing with um, invasive species coming and taking over uh, plants that are already here with soil change which affects the plants that can grow which affects the animals that thrive on those plants so it kind of is a chain reaction. I guess vaguely I know that it's just the way that I guess weather and climate temperature changes over time. It really doesn't matter whether you believe it's a good thing or a bad thing it's just that you recognize that it's there and that everything around you could be changing and that you really need to see what's there before it's gone. My name is Gail Hyman. I'm in my 10th year of teaching at Arts and Communication Magnet Academy. We are an art magnet program, so we collect kids from 6th grade to 12th who really have a strong interest in the arts. This project came about through Stephen Flynn from U.S. Fish and Wildlife, who joined forces with our school to create a project that was related with both the sciences as well as the arts. We thought best to combine digital photo class with the book arts class so that we could do a collaborative project together. The students will have to, in the photo class, kind of let go of their imagery and put it in the hands of the book artists to see what they come up with. I hope that they are taking away some information about climate change instead of it being such a distant idea that it's something that's right in our backyard. We chose the Tualatin River National Wildlife Refuge for a couple reasons. Uh, first of all, it was an environment that was 10 to 15 minutes away from where they go to school and live. So it was a great place for them to be in a pristine, natural environment where they could connect to the issue of climate change and really locate the issue close to where they live. This refuge is really unique in that we're so close to an urban setting, so to be able to come and learn about how a refuge is different than a park I think is important, to understand that wildlife comes first and it's really about the species that are here. We're lucky to be able to visit and to be able to, to visit the animals' homes. This project was really about connecting people with the community as well. We had the help of the Department of Communication at Portland State University, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Services Connecting People with Nature program, the faculty and students at Beaverton Arts and Communication Academy. We also had the help of the, the folks at the Tualatin River National Wildlife Refuge. We had volunteer naturalists that helped guide the students throughout the refuge. We had an education coordinator um, who taught us about climate change and what we were seeing on the refuge. Christine Cernal from My Story Workshops, a local nonprofit, um, taught the students how to connect with their feelings and use those feelings on the issue of climate change to create works of art. So since we were, um, in this case, working with young people who identified themselves as artists already, thought of themselves as photographers and bookmakers, they came to the project with a lot of knowledge. And so we asked them to unknow what they know, to remove all of those filters that they might be putting in front of themselves when they went into the refuge and actually think about the word that they had chosen as a mantra and have that be their guide and not necessarily look to create an aesthetically beautiful image, but instead to really think about that word. It might be erosion or fear or rebirth to use as a guide. We talked briefly about some of the impacts of climate change and the way that we actually feel about that and how that makes us feel. And so today you guys are going to have the opportunity to actually walk out in our world, right? This place. So what I'd like you guys to do when you're out there is to think about that. Sense that emotion that you had in mind and if you didn't, then think about how you're impacted emotionally when you walk through this place. And you think about the idea that it might change for the better or for the worse, right? We never know what direction it's going to go. But there'll be some impact and how that makes you feel. If you feel like, then I want you to photograph it. If it's going to be out of focus because you're too close, it is. If it's going to be, if there's not a balance of light or dark in your image, that's okay. I want you guys to try to do something that feels like you're tapping into your heart. And sometimes that's not as perfect, balanced, or beautiful as we normally do in our normal life. And I want you guys to just experiment with that. 
and when you look at your images later, see if there was a difference. See if there was anything you guys typed into that was new or fresh. I feel like it's gonna get to the point where it's um, gonna be too late where until we really wake up, until the world as a whole wakes up and realizes um, what we are actually doing to this planet. I guess if I were to take the negative approach, this would be like dry and there wouldn't be any animals or life. It would just be kind of barren, probably polluted. That's one way that it could go. Another is that the seasons realign themselves and I guess what was here would be changed. Climate change is definitely affecting our world in, in every aspect. I think that we can hopefully reduce it or keep it at least where it is and not increase anymore. I think that if there isn't anything done about it, that it uh, it can really affect us because not only does it affect wildlife as an animal, but it also affects us because if we don't have the right crops or anything to keep us support, it's gonna be hard to keep the whole world going. I think that there's a lot of people that are doing many things and there's a lot of people that are aware of the climate change, but um, as a whole, I think there's so many more things we could do. So what I'm hoping to accomplish with this and I know there's a lot of artists and a lot of people who have helped spread the word and stuff, so I'm not really sure what I can do with it. Well, I'm in a book arts class, and what we're going to do is collaborate with the photo class that came. So I'll take the images that they created to put together a project that maybe just takes into account the natural beauty here and hopefully just expresses what we have and what we need to save. The students looked really closely um, on a macro level at the surroundings and produced incredible images of buds blooming and fungus growing and tree stumps, but they also made really phenomenal images of silhouettes of trees against the skyline with the boggy marshes all around. And the bookmaking students took this incredible care and expressed such sensitivity in, in, in creating these three-dimensional objects out of the photographs, expressing all of their thoughts on climate change and integrating images of, of growth and rebirth and, and death and sort of dissolution. Young people often initially express fears and concerns, but they don't come at this with the same sense of impossibility as an adult. They often are infused with a sense of hope and possibility, and they're wonderful problem solvers. And so we can learn a lot from looking at the work that's created in response to this by the young people, because they often see things that we don't see and that we might miss. So it's my hope that this project will be an ongoing partnership um, between the students at Beaverton Arts and Communication Academy and the Tualatin River National Wildlife Refuge, and that they'll continue to explore the ways that our environment changes and the fluctuations and the different feelings that the students have regarding the issue of climate change and that they can continue to produce these excellent pieces of art that communicate the issue to us in a different way. There has to be change that's going to happen in order for us to survive the way that we are. So right now it's pretty uncertain what's going to happen and there's definitely going to be change in all, um, I think, habitats around the world. I feel like right now with the people out here and the people that I've talked to in the city, that it's more important that we get people to recognize that their environment is so amazing and so important and that, yes, it is changing, but unless you see it and you feel it in your heart that it's important, you're not going to care about what's happening with it. So I think right now it's more important to get people out here and show people how amazing it is.